everybody, it's me, Karazina Cheetah, here with Cap'n Crunch's Crunchling Adventure. I got this on a download, it's free on the internet, it's real easy to find, and this is a game from my childhood. Oh yes. I'm surprised. It actually came straight up on my Windows 7 computer, but anyhow. Hi. Oh god. Before we get started, you need to choose the crunchling you will raise and train. All right. On the next screen, you'll give your crunchling a name and help them choose their colors. Go ahead and pick the little critter you'd like to raise. All right, and zero introduction there. Um I used to play this all the time. I this is one of those games that used to come in cereal boxes, believe it or not. Children of the current time slash people of the current time. Uh yeah. They just gave out video games in cereal boxes, and I remember getting this game out of a cereal box, so. And obviously this is a, um, pretty much just a product placement game, so let's see, uh, I will name it Carolyn, or Caroline, whatever, whatever the fuck, uh, skin color. Could do purple, blue, pink. That's real pink. Um, tell you what, I'm gonna go with purple because purple is pretty. Yes. <laughs> Welcome aboard. This is your little buddy's new home. Okay. All of the comforts of Crunchium City, including plenty of Crunchium inside lots of Cap and Crunch cereal. Yep. In order to feed this little crunchling, just click one of these levers. Yeah. You're gonna raise the It's best basically raising this little thing. Crunchling needs lots of praise, as well as plenty of cabin crunch. Cereal. Of course. You can tell if your buddy needs a pat by looking at this bar. I guess you're ready to start your crunchling's training. Good luck, and just click on this big screen if you need okay. me. I'll stop in and see how you're doing later. Alright, so yeah, this is, and I, I love this, um, but anyhow, okay, I will get you some food, but yeah, I actually remember playing this when I was like four, because this came out around 1999, I was born in 95, so, <laughs> those effects though, all the different kinds. I still like Captain Crunch to this day. Like, I will still get it and buy it and eat it. This is an issue. What? How's the training coming, you two? I hope things are going well, because we're all counting on you to save the Crunchlings and keep Captain Crunch cereal a sweet and delicious part of everyone's breakfast. Now, here's a little tip for practicing the throwing game. The trick is to throw in front of your target in order to hit it. Yeah? The more accurate you are, the more strength your crunchling will build. I, I'm going to show you guys what I used to do for that game. And um, it is... I just totally cheaped out on that. Oh, good. You're happy now. Uh, let's go for the strength. And I will show you guys what I used to do Jurassic all the time. Car for a voyage to the time when the Crunchosaurus ruled the earth. Crunchosaurus. We're going to do some <laughs> throwing practice. All right then. Oh yeah, and this. <laughs> That's what I call <laughs> making some time. All ashore for Jurassica. We're going to build muscle with some boulder throwing, and those lava rocks up above you are the perfect targets. Just use your arrow keys to move back and forth, right. and your space bar to pick up boulders and throw them. No better exercise for the old throwing arm. Allow me to demonstrate. Yeah, and they animated him You'll doing this. Touch. Good luck. Thanks. Get set, go. That fucking fucking T-Rex in the background. Look at him. And I'm not trying to hit them. I'm just holding down the space bar. Sure, I could actually try. And that poor pterodactyl. Um, I could actually be trying. Please realize that. But guess what? I don't have the patience for trying. Um, with this game, what I used to do is I used to literally just put a book on my space bar and I would go get a snack. 
That's what I used to do with this. Isn't that ridiculous? But you know, I was like, yeah, sure, this is fine. Also, with Quest 64 on the N64, I would go into, um, I think it was Dondarin? I'm not sure. It was, uh, it's one of the villages in the early part of the game. And I would get down into this little area that was just a big field, and I would get my character, uh, started, you know, running in a circle. Good 58! Job. Remember, the more you practice, By the, the way. stronger you'll get. Yeah, and let's see how much progress that made. This much! JonTron made a video on food, uh, food games. He included this game. This is what made me remember this was a thing. And <laughs> he freaked out and I'm like, yeah, this game takes a bit. Uh, let's see, speed. Time to practice your speed, yeah. eh? Um, well, come with me. And I would use a, like a hairband and I would put it around the, uh, the stick that you used to move this is Backwardia. anything could happen and in this place, but it always i would just make him run in a circle to get it up because there's a skill that like you only get when you run around and you'll need to jump over all of the things in your way just press your right arrow key to skate and the space bar to jump okay. on your marks get set go and there's also it's like if you fuck this up at all you're like, you're screwed. And I forget how to... Oops. Yeah. Like that. There's like no way to recover from that. But, um... <sighs> I know that there's a way to make you go faster. At least I thought there were. I'm not sure. And also, the motion of this is really fucking with my eyes. I'm just making the- I'm literally just making this video for nostalgia reasons. And see how many other people got this game as a child. And played it. Oh man. I don't know if I can handle this. Guys. Way to go! Alright. Get set! Go! Also, I really like the setting of Backwardia. <laughs> the entire thing. I thought up jumped. I was very, very wrong here. Um, but I like this setting because if you look at everything in the background, everything's backwards. Everything. Even the turtle's backwards. Like, the only thing that isn't backwards is your crunchling. And I guess there is a way to recover, but it's very, very slow. Like, if you mess up more than once, you're kind of screwed. And this video is going to be heavily edited. I'm just going to uh, probably do a lot of the uh, training and ish off screen just so that I can show you the game. And look at my. Congratulations! Let's hear it for the fastest crunchling in Backwardia! Woohoo! Uh, a whole two seconds. But, yeah, so I'm probably going to do a lot of this off-screen. It really doesn't take that long, but a lot it's very repetitive. Oh my god, is it repetitive. So, there you go. Yeah, and you make him happy. Him or her. It's a her in this case, by doing that. Uh, let's do jumping. Platforming. Time to set sail for Computica, Crunchling Buddy. Computica. We're going to do some jumping. Computica. Land ho! God. Welcome to Computica. Here you'll practice jumping as you make your way up these memory platforms to reach the top. Just press space to jump and guide yourself in the air with the arrow keys. The faster you can reach the top, the better your score. All right. I'll leave a few crunch berries for you to find on the way. Thanks. Pick them up for bonus points. Good luck. I'll meet you at the top. All right. Yeah, Computica. Memory platforms. On Looks just marks. like the inside of a computer, Get right, set. guys? Go! I keep forgetting that space bar is fucking jump. Also, this jumping is really bad. Like, how did I do this as a child? Go. 
Obviously, I was way more skilled as a child than I am as an adult. Oh, jeez. Well, plus I used to play this game a lot. And I'm trying to find a lot of my childhood games to do, you know, just for um, entertainment's sake and nostalgia's sake, which I hope you guys don't mind. It's kind of interesting to see what I grew up on. Like, as an adult, looking back as what I, you know, at what I played as a child, I'm like, oh, this explains a lot. Oh, shit. This is really bad. This is awful. Oh, God. Right, I can't... I will get all of these berries, damn it. And I think there is a slight uh, difficulty increase as you go, but... What magnificent jumping! You'll be ready to jump against that big crunchy and thief in no time. Thanks! Alright, let's go home. As you see, it goes very, very slowly, especially for strength, because that one... I think they knew that one was the easiest to, uh... to kind of fool there. There you go. You were not in the right spot for that. Nice try, though, kid. Alright, so, I will be back when there is an update. Yes! I just have to say something. Look at that fucking dinosaur. Like, I'm not even throwing rocks right now. But oh my god. I, I can't even. Alright, and I'm just gonna uh, do a little bit more of this. I forgot to jump. Because if you notice in the background, even if, like, if your eyes can handle looking at the background, all of the Gatorade! in the back. Yes! Product placement within a product placement game. Uh, this was a thing. <laughs> Apparently Gatorade teamed up or helped with funding. I don't know. I'm gonna do some research. Probably. I, I might. I don't know. Check out the Wikipedia page. Um. But yeah. Gatorade. Drink it along with a big heaping bowl of Cap'n Crunch cereal. That's a good breakfast, right? Congratulations! Ugh. Let's hear it for the fastest crunchling in back. And also, Gatorade isn't backwards. You'd think that they would put that backwards, but I guess they'd be like, "Oh, you can't read it. What are you doing?" It's oh yeah, and I don't know if um if I showed it before. You can do some sweet jumps. I'm just. I'm just putting in a bunch of random clips here because why the fuck not? Whee! Good job. You can also pretty well uh, just do this and hold the space bar and be fine most of the time. Okay, and I've noticed something else. Those plastic cones are the worst obstacles ever. Let's see if I get, can get some more in this. Good job. Yeah, look, you run straight into him. No problems. No problems at all. Obstacles, what are obstacles? Set, go. <laughs> and if you'll notice, the little crunchling, trunk crunchling, uh, Carolyn, is just like... Whoosh. Oops. Oops. But you know what? Now it's completely salvageable. The o the first, like, I've only played this minigame, like, six times by now. The first couple times you play it, it's, uh, the turtle is a lot, uh, faster. Or, at the very least, uh, they remove some, uh, limit they had on the crunch link speed, so it's a lot easier. And, wow, my eyes cannot handle this movement. I'm really trying to focus, and it's just... Oh, God. You and your Crunchling are doing a great job. But remember, there's no telling what that Crunchium thief will throw at us. So make sure you practice all of the games. Let's go practice some jumps in Computica. Yeah, in the game, if you fall behind in any of these... Like I am right now... Uh... Yeah! 
It's like, hey, why aren't you doing this many game? Why aren't you just cycling through them all? This game. Ah! Yeah, I eat that fucking cabin crunch. Alright, and here's where it starts getting a little more different. They have ones that move diagonally, and if you can also notice, I'm jumping farther and way higher than I was before, which also makes it a lot better. This is where the jumping minigame uh, starts to get a little bit more difficult, <laughs> and they throw more variety at you, which is completely fine. Um, they throw little changes like that in there, and as you can see, the finish line is moving. What magnificent! Thanks. And hey, oh, you've been doing a great job raising your crunchling. I stopped by because I figure this little critter is about to go through a growth. Spurt. Oh! Oh! Terrific! Keep practicing, you two. That was vaguely terrifying. I remembered. I was thinking, no, it's not where that that thing where their fur like expands to cover their body. And yes, it was. Okay, I'm glad I was recording. I figured, um, like it happens when you're around this level, you know, around halfway, uh, which is fine. Um, let's see, and instead of uh, just tickling, you have a choice of cleaning their ears or scratching their heads. Let's take a look at clean. Stop! Stop it! Uh, that was disturbing, and then... Uh, this explains a lot about how I turned out, doesn't it? So yeah, let's go through all the mini-games with the Crunchling Caroline, like this. And yes, I kn I'm, I'm hoping this is showing up in the recording, but the screen's just randomly flashing white. Game's working fine! Just the screen flashes white. I don't know. Alright, let's do speed! Because that turtle Time really has a fucking speed, chance, eh? right? Well, come with me! We're off to Backwardia! <laughs> On your marks, get set, go! Yeah, look at that! Look at that! Turtle has no fucking chance! And now there's hot dog cards, too, by the way. Because, you know. Whoops! And I also like how stuff can be in, like, stuff will be in the foreground. And, uh, see, you'll still hit it. Which makes not a lick of sense. But, you know. And you can also slow your speed by doing that. And you can do some sick tricks. All you have to do is press, um, the left arrow key, and it slows you down. Let's hear it for the Turtle's not even catching up. Uh, let's uh, do the jumping. Time to set sail for Computica, Crunchling Buddy! We're going to do some jumping! Yay! Jumping! On your marks, get set, go! And no, you don't actually need any of the crunch berries or anything. And what you can also do is you can just play one mini game for a ton of time. Just keep clicking try again, it'll save uh, all of the progress that you've made. That's how I uh, did all of those and got them up. I would just go through a couple sets of each mini game before I got sick of it. And um, it'll save your progress without using more than one thing of food or happiness, which is fine. Gonna do that because that's less disturbing than the other one. Um, there's also a go online button. After I get to the end, I will click that to see what happens. I'm not sure. Uh, let's check out the strength. 
all aboard my Jurassic car for a voyage to the time when the Crunchosaurus ruled the Earth. We're going to do some. And <laughs> the interesting thing about this game is it's not a long game at in any stretch of the sense. Get set, go. Yeah, look at that! Just rah! Um, but you can save your game and then you can quit. And wow, this isn't going. Well. I'm just holding down the button. Why try? That poor pterodactyl! Um, I've gotten up to 67 boulders, or 67 score on this, which is fine. Just by holding it. Oh, that fucking dinosaur! Ah! I hope that's a gift somewhere. I kind of want to go into the game files and try to find him. Because it's a really- this game's just a strange mix of 2D and 3D modeled objects. That's the way. Good job. And as you can see, uh, they don't really take that long to come up. I'll put little, uh, time thingies to show you guys the amount of time spent in between, um, big chunks of this so that you can tell how fast this actually goes. It it doesn't doesn't take a long time, honestly. Oh, and I just realized I know that you guys are probably thinking it's like, that's not a T-Rex, it's a Crinchosaurus Rex. And yeah, it is. Because if you look, he has little things of uh, Captain Crunch on him. Which is awesome. Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to say that because it's like, yeah, it's modeled after a T-Rex, but, you know, yeah. So, how's the training going? Hmm, I see this Crunchling could use a little more speed training in Backwardia. You need to practice all of the games for your Crunchling to keep growing. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Cap'n. Yeah. That's another thing. I just did a bunch of the strength training just all in a fucking row because I'm like, I want to get this done. Duh. And then I come back to that. So, thanks, Captain. So, how's the training going? Hmm. I see this Crunchling could use a little more speed training in Again. Backwardia. You need to practice all of the games for your Crunchling to keep growing. Good Shush. Alright, I guess I gotta do this. Those eyebrows! Oh. The animation on this really reminds me of a. Uh, do you guys know the game with uh, the games with Mia the mouse? Like they're like educational fucking games. I really need to find my copy or get a copy of those. This animation on them was fucking weird. They're like puzzle games. I don't know. Um. Yeah, uh, you can see some of them on PBG Gamers, uh, Goodwill Games, <laughs> uh, videos, which are very funny. You and your Crunchling are doing a great <sighs> job! But remember, there's no telling what that Crunchium thief will throw at us, so make sure you practice all of the games! Let's go practice some jumps in Computica! Yeah, see, this is where it gets really annoying, is he constantly... <laughs> Constantly, every time you exit a game, he will constantly do that. It's like, dude, shut up! <laughs> it's like I'm doing my best here. There we go. That giggle, that giggle, though. That, that giggle. Well, hello there! Oh boy! I can see you two have been busy. Looks to me like this crunchling is about ready to grow to full size. Oh boy! Oh god, that's terrifying! Terrific! Keep practicing, you two! Hi! You look kind of angry! Those eyelashes, though. Alright, let's see. What all can we do? Can we just do that now? Is that all? Ah. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the ear cleaning thing's only yeah. for that one. Yeah! Yeah! Alright then! <laughs> Has to be about a crunch. I don't even know what kinds of Captain Crunch they make normal. 
anymore, except I know that they have uh, the regular, I know they have with berries, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Do they still have peanut butter crunch? I don't know. And see, they lock the rest of this progress from you until you actually grow to full size, which is kind of bullshit. But to you know, it's a eh? it's a well, cereal box game. Me. We're off to Backwardia. Yes, let's see how the poor turtle fares against On this. Get set, go. Look at that! Look at this! And at the end, I'm gonna wait for the turtle to catch up. Just to see how far ahead I was. Woo! Okay, now th those are some sick flips. Oops! I also like how I fall directly onto my skateboard. It's kinda different. Or at least my crunch like this. And don't ask me where I got Caroline from, because I have no idea. It's just like, yeah, name it that. Should have named it Foofball. Alright, let's see how long it takes the poor let's turtle to catch up. Oh, jeez, that poor turtle. <laughs> Just, nah. Alright, let's go home. I've got one more time on that. Let's do some jumping. Time to set sail for Computica, Crunchling Buddy. We're going to do some jumping. <laughs> that on sound your effect, though. Get set, go! Look how high this thing is jumping. Oh my god. <laughs> Good job. We have raised one athletic son of a bitch, man. There we go. Wow, that's almost done. Let's do strength, because why not? I'm aboard my Jurassic car for a the most challenging of all of them. The and I can We're challenge the Crunchy and Thief now, which I will be doing after this, uh, this minigame. Look, one hand! She's holding it like a fucking bowling ball! Good god, what kind of steroids did I give this poor thing? But if you'll notice, the rate that I'm throwing these at isn't all that different. Wow. Just wow. Yeah, look at that! Like a fucking bowling ball! Yeah, in this game, it's it's sad but true. I tried actually playing it the way you were supposed to. I got like 30 boulders, including hitting the pterodactyl. Um, so this game's this game. It's like the less you try, the better you do. That's the way. Good job. All right. So I feel pretty confident here after I feed this thing. Um. I'm going to go challenge the Crunchium Thief. There we go. Alright, so we have that, and then that's the only thing we have now. Yeah. 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 And... Have they used Crunchlings since this campaign? I don't think they have, because I don't remember them. All right. Nice work, you two. You're ready to take on that crunchium thing. Sure am. Okay then. Let's just see how tough this character really is. Probably pretty tough. Then again. Oh. Wow! It's I'm a gremlin. Back, crunchium thief, and I have our best crunchling athlete with me. It's time what? for you to keep your word and choose an event to challenge us. If we win, you and your band of thieves have to leave the spot of the earth forever. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? 
A strength contest, eh? <laughs> well, we're ready for you, crunchy <laughs> thief. The first one to hit ten targets wins. So throw as fast as you can. What? Look at my look at my crunch like right, breathing. I want a good clean contest. This one is for the whole enchilada. Um, and all the crunchium. On your marks, get set, go. Yeah. Even the thief is just throwing him. He's doing a lot poorer than I am, but that's because I'm in the center. I won! Sweet. I might have skipped something. You're ready to take on that crunchium thief. Yep. Okay then. Let's just see how tough this character is. I may have really skipped is. a cutscene, but the best thing is you can just go back and do it again. <laughs> I'm back, crunchium thief, and I have our best crunchling athlete with me. It's time for you to keep your word and choose an event to challenge us. If we win, you and your band of thieves have to leave the center of the earth forever and return all of the crunchium you stole. <laughs> Just reminds me on Saint Sir 3, the zombie voice option. A jumping contest, eh? Well, we're ready for you, crunchium thief. You'll need to jump to the top faster than he can climb. Follow the crunch berries. Okay. All right, everybody. I want a good, clean contest. This one is for the whole enchilada. Um, and all the crunchium. On your marks, get set, go! These floaty-ass controls. Seriously, these controls are so bad. Like, I'm somehow not failing completely, uh, but, you know. And as you can tell, the platforms are kind of bullshit, which is fine. I won! Let's see how long it takes a Crunchium Thief to ca- Oh, it, do it doesn't show. Oh. Nice or maybe- work, you two. Maybe we have to You're go through to all of them. You're ready take on that Crunchium Thief. Okay, I remember that there's a cutscene. Is it not gonna work? Really did I did I ruin it? I don't know. I'm back, Crunchium Thief, and I have our best Crunchling athlete with me. It's time for you to keep your word and choose an event to challenge us. If we win, you and your band of thieves have to leave the center of the earth forever and return all of the Crunchium you stole. Actually, I remember other cutscenes. Or at least I think I do. A strength contest, eh? Maybe they're not All working. Alright, everybody. I want a good, clean contest. This one is for the whole enchilada. Um, and all the crunchium. On your marks, get set, go! Wow, he's trying a lot harder than I am. <laughs> Stop it. I won! Okay, I'm just gonna leave it alone. What the hell? What the hell, man? That was Captain Crunch's Crunchling Adventure. I hope that you enjoyed it, and that you'll stick around for more! Bye, guys!